Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Do Life starting as the green Terran. Upper left-hand corner, we have Gauss starting as the pink Protoss. This is BSL Season 16 Hostile League Round of 16 Group B. This is the final match. The There's a walkover in favor of Do Life and the losers match. So Do Life versus Gauss now. <laughs> Do Life asking what the uh, result was of the previous matches. <coughs> Still have a bit of a cough, by the way. Still working through sick day, uh, so my voice will be a little bit off. Gauss noting that do life is old school. Gauss is as well. On circuit breaker, do life himself is not one to. Uh, well, first of all, we've seen a lot of interesting play out of Gauss, so I'm not sure that Gauss is one to comment on all ends here. Secondarily, though, do life pretty strong with general two factory play. I was going to give a shout out to Chippa out in Twitch land. Sup, Chippa. So I wouldn't be shocked, especially knowing. Well, let's see if Do Life is familiar with Gauss's style of play if he opts for earlier factory builds. Because honestly, I feel like going two fact to open does a lot of stuff that stomps early Protoss silliness. We are seeing a gateway to start initial scout for Gauss after pylon, going to the upper in corner first, which. I think as an indicator, he's actually thinking about maybe trying to execute one gate into expansion if he can get the quick scout off. He's going to end up seeing do life's base in the final position. Dropping that assimilator instead, it looks like we do have a quick gas grab for do life as well. So it looks like he's not going to opt for So he's definitely going to open up factory of some kind. We'll see if he leaves the SCV on gas and continues from there. Shout out to minions out in Twitch land as well. By the way, everybody, let me know how the audio balance is. Once again, I'm not sure if there was another reset in the OBS audio land. Anyway, SCV making its way to the top left. It looks like Do Life is going to get that fortunate, for, that fortunate first scout. Probes initially in gas, cybernetic score roping in. We'll see if Gauss dedicates the initial resources to that zealot. Probe is going to manage to walk into the base in time to see that initial probe being produced and the three SCV churning away in the refineries and the mines as they're opt to do is noting that there's that second that additional supply depot being produced so not necessarily saving the uh, resources to go for a quicker tech down the line we do have that factory and immediate pull of scv off gas no initial zealot has been constructed and we already looked Gauss doing Gauss things. Citadel of a Dune, upper left. And I do believe that pylon, that single pylon was scouted. Do life already. So it looks like Gauss going to do something similar to the previous match. Trying to find a location. There's a lot of area to build on Circuit Breaker. So he knows that there's something up. I'm not sure if he's recognizing that it is in fact DT. Holding the ramp with two SCVs just in case. And let's see if he gets the proper detection down in time. So very reminiscent of previous rounds. Dragoon trying to work on that SCV. A probe faking as though it's going for the Nexus. I don't think that's going to trick do life at all. Second gateway in the main. So it looks like it's not going to be a gateway on the off position. But the Citadel of a Dune certainly hid. So this definitely indicates we're going to see Dark Templar. Do life positioning, dropping an initial bunker. Also setting up to go ahead and grab that command center. Building initial vulture. And let's see if that vulture, <coughs> excuse me, ops to make its way out towards the right rather than towards the main in order to, yeah, trying to find that tech that he knows hidden somewhere out on the map. And we'll see also if there's an additional early mine upgrade. We saw how effective Gauss was in the early previous matches, regardless of those mines that were out on the field. Barracks lifted off. A probe going to go ahead and scout down to try to survey the situation. That is three Marines. Vulture finding nothing thus far. Templar Archives up. We do have Double Dark Templar in production. I don't know that single vulture is going to be sufficient. Mines are being researched. So this could be a quick win for Gauss. As if he, as long as he keeps those DT separated, he'll be in an okay position. I don't see an engineering bay in production either. The vulture making its way up to top right. Is it going to, it's not making it, oh, so close. Nope, not able to find it. Second Vulture making its way out. The Dark Templar on the field. Does Do Life spot them? 
Second factory in construction. Mine's not researched yet. Did he see the glimmer? I don't think he saw the glimmer either. So now vultures are not going to be in position to blockade. So it's going to be DTs walking straight into the base. <coughs> and the vultures out of position top right. Yeah, dropping the mines at positions where they needed to not be. Vulture instantly dying on the natural. And this is now going to be a rough run as the armory is under construction. It's going to be a while before an additional vulture is out. This is going to be all sorts of SCV kills in the main for these DTs. Also working, yeah, fleeing to the natural expansion. So Gauss getting a lot. This is just classic cheese. Engineering Bay being built at the natural expansion. Two more DTs walking unabated towards the natural expansion to easily be able to disrupt that. There's no compsat station. The armory has been interrupted. That's going to be game right there. I'll tell you what. There's GG. And that is how you execute DTs and do the, do it ape style to win the uh, early matches. Bit of a disappointing match, I'm going to say. I hate to see wins <laughs> play that way. I will give credit to Gauss for executing it well. <coughs> Regardless, appreciate a like and a subscribe from you, ladies and gentlemen out there in YouTube land. Hope you enjoyed it. Regardless, thank you for listening.